Yo, what's Yo. good? Yeah, our commentators had to hop off, so we're gonna commentate the end of the set, and then we still have a couple more actually. Yes. So game three, Cody TSB. This is a uh, subtle end face, by the way. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, how in the world did? Wait, this is the best of three. How come they're going to Dreamland? I wonder what. Uh... That's very interesting. Whoa. Wait. I wonder what TSB banned. Yeah. What the heck? First Falco. I saw that they were just on Stadium, which is which makes more sense, because I think that was TSB's counter pick. Um, Maybe he didn't want to deal with any kind of like. Uh yeah, Yoshi's I don't know. Getting F smashed at like. Or like two. or Fountain getting like hit through the platforms. That's interesting. Although honestly, that's kind of like been a little bit of a trend because I've seen more Marths that it, I mean Zane I think kind of like. Oh my God, oh, Cody. Cody, calm down. All right, all right, all right. that's not gonna. Combo. All right, yeah, Cody kind of feeling himself. Oh my god, that grab! Grab his toe! The attempt was so oh, ballsy. I like that choice with the shield breaker. I think that that's actually a pretty strong choice that's there. A, that's a very old school choice. Yeah, because a lot of times in that in that spot with the forward air, you're probably not going to actually send them as far. Yeah. Because I think Marth is one of those weird characters in that spot where his forward air isn't going to quite send him off and, like, kill. As, as a Sheik main, I'm thinking forward air 100% of the time there, but Shieldbreaker, I think, has the more, like, consistent knockback because of the weird properties of Tipper. Yeah, I agree. And uh, and you can also charge it to kind of course correct if you may maybe made a miscalculation. So you can kind of just hold yeah. it and wait. Okay. He chooses to end it early and reads the recovery. Oh, no! He, I, he barely that missed that here? spacing, yeah. That was actually a really sick string. I was kind of questioning when he ended early with the, the F smash, but then he was just... I guess he was ready for, for what Cody was going to choose there as like an emergency recovery option with that side D. Yeah, and then Cody misses his follow He missed his yeah. follow up after, so it just kind of resets the neutral, which is good. Yeah, I actually don't. TSB. I don't mind the down smash there. I think that's actually a pretty solid option. It's like a get off me sort of option. Nice uh, platform cancel there. Oh, just barely misses. Kind of had the read there, but just reacted a little bit late. It's weird because like he had the read, but sometimes you have to kind of like make it look like you're not going to cover that option, and he was just like a half a second too late after you kind of like made him think that high recovery was okay. Okay, that forward throw. Oh, okay. He tried to read the early recovery. I think the better the Marth, the like longer they just kind of like hang there at the ledge. Cody loves up smash today. Yeah. I respect it though. It's a good option. It's an underrated option. It's pretty good at covering in front of Falco since he has like a little bit longer jump squat. Mm -hmm. And it kind of puts him, puts that, oh nice, nice little short hop tomahawk. Falco's Tomahawks are so good because his short hop is so tiny. He gets Yo. back on the ground. Like, not only is he a fast faller, but his short hop is extra small. Okay, the little Co poke. Cody's head oh, he are so legendary. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it doesn't matter what's going on. Like, if you if you couldn't see the match and he was just head shaking, you would still have no idea. You could not guess what's happening on the no, screen. No, yeah, yeah. He'll he can head shake when yeah. he's winning and when he's losing. Yeah, like, like his opponent would mess up, or he'll mess up and he'll head shake no matter what, or he'll like hit something and be like, "Well, I think that was kind of janky, so I'm gonna shake my head." <laughs> it's pretty funny. I love it. He's refusing to die. This he's was, like our super emotional like player. This is he's, exactly why you need to get rid of this stage. Yeah, like, I was gonna say this is kind of Dreamland. Up throw at two thirteen didn't even send him into the blast zone. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cleans it up, but All he right. pretty much needs. Uh, it's also tough on this stage. Because unless you get the grab right in the center, like right there where he was looking for it, the platforms are just like a perfect tight. Okay, he gets down with that side B down air. Pretty tricky. Catches him with both. But it's really tough to get like a combo going because the platforms are so far. And it's like Marth can, can reach there with like one up air, but at that low percent, you can kind of just, you know, SDI down tech and Marth has to go pretty far distance to land back and get his jump back so he can try and pressure. 
Oh, okay. Yo, watch. He's going to like, jump off, fade back, and then come back in. Oh, he's going for the light show this time? No, no. Actually, er he didn't light show. Earlier in the set, he's, he was doing that a lot. He would like jump off. Cody would jump off. Yeah. Oh, out, the light. Fade back. It was so nice. That's actually an interesting option because what he's trying to read there is the is them like going for a spot dodge or a roll, and that quick up smash is catching them dropping shield right before they're invulnerable. Yeah, and if and if he catches and if he misreads, he's okay because it's a fast move, so he can just kind of rebound into something else. It also, I'm I'm actually.